I started this plumbing business so I can rip people off, so I can take advantage of them. Right. I'm going to go in their house and I'm going to sell them every, things they don't need, all of that. Right. We've talked to hundreds and hundreds. That's just not the mindset, right? It's just It just isn't. You're not thinking going in and ripping people off. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 392nd episode of Potty Talk, and we have a powerful Potty mm-hmm. Talk edition for you. Yeah, listen up on this one. All right, mm-hmm. well, this even may be a little controversial, okay? We're going to maybe even maybe don't ruffle scare some, us. some feathers. No, we don't care, all right? <laughs> but you need to hear this. This is good for you, mm-hmm. all right? Well, the title of our episode here is, It's Your Moral Duty to Be Rich, what? Ooh. Not one of those rich guys. That's right. You know, rich is like a four-letter word. Well, yeah. it is four <laughs> letters, is. but it, it's like a cuss word, yeah. four-letter word. Mm-hmm. You know, be sure. rich. Yeah. And that, that's, that's the opposite, mm-hmm. all right, of where we need to be, mm-hmm. all right? There's nothing wrong with being rich. In fact, rich is a very powerful thing, and we're going to we'll talk about a couple of those things. Right. So, so why it's your moral duty to be rich. Right. So if, if our opening couple of seconds here <laughs> turns you off. Hold on, okay? okay Just right. hang on, because um, we are going to walk through this. And, and again, it's not rich for the sake of of, of just oh, I've got Lambos and mansions and look at me making. It that's rain what's given a bad name, correct. right? Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. which isn't most rich people. Like mean, you know, mm-hmm. we look at well, the rich, you know, we're so conditioned, and that's the, our first point here. We've been conditioned a certain way to think about right. money, mm-hmm. all right, and about being rich. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's, look, I, you know, you've heard me say, I, I call those of us, you know, in this, you know, brothers, mm-hmm. all right? And no matter where, and the reason I do that, because as, as plumbers, okay, and being blue-collar guys, I, I've talked to guys all over the world. And so, the you know, the language may be a little different, may drive on, a, you know, the opposite side of the road, <laughs> all right? Um, you know, those, those kinds of things, you know, the, the different taxes and all that are different. But mm-hmm. the way we've been... Th- conditioned to look at ourselves mm-hmm. and to think about money is so it's amazing it's how universal. across yeah it's you know, universal. right mm-hmm. okay and one of the things that you know that we've been conditioned to look at is you know well you know as blue collar you know middle to middle low class or whatever you know kind of people mm-hmm. we, we've been you know we're the we're the people to get things done mm-hmm. all right pay the bills pay the taxes mm-hmm. Do the wars, okay? Fight in the war, all that, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So they got to keep us in line. We got to be in this, you know. General, so we're Especially all, with your mindset, right? And part of our mindset of and how we think of money mm-hmm. that you need, you know, um, if you're rich, you can, and we'll get into this. It, it makes it possible for you to do your own thing, to mm-hmm. be free, Correct. all right, and to be free to help others, okay? Right. The powers that be don't want that, no. Okay. So because, we've been conditioned a certain yeah. way to think. Certainly, with the government, they want government, right. You to rely on the government. Well, that is not how it was set up at all. That this country was not set up that way, right? So, all right, okay. So, change your thinking. Change your thinking. Change your thinking. Well, you know, and I, um, you know, we we've, we've talked about this. You know, we we hear, you know, well, we'll tell our kids that you know you can be anything that you want. Yes, you, yeah. We don't we say that to our kids all right. the time when they're little. You know what, little Johnny, you can be up, grow up, and be anything you want to be, and you can do this. And you're talking to your kids, and you're wanting to give them, you know, a, a direction and a hope, and and call them up and all that. Um, how how are you doing, right? Are you doing everything that you can? If, are you doing everything you can to build, I'm assuming you've got a plumbing business, to grow and build your, your plumbing business? Are, or are you settling um, and not being everything that you could be? Just like you're telling you know, little Johnny or little Sally, right? Sally, you can grow up and you can be president of the United States and you can do all these things. Well, okay, so mom and dad, they're looking at you, right? right. So you're telling them this, right? You're, you're telling your kids this, but your kids are looking at you going, um, how come you didn't? Right. Mom, dad, you know, why, why didn't you do something? And, and part of how that comes out, too, is when we hear, you know, say, well, I can't charge that. Oh. You know, I can't charge that. On hourly rate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, the hourly, you know. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I don't want to be, you kind of make fun of the big, rich company, the big plumbing right. companies. I don't want to be I don't that. mean ripping people ripping off. Ripping people off and that right. kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, they're rich, all right? right. So if they're right. rich, they must have been rich, um, ripping people off. I mean, there's no other way. Exactly. Right? You know? Not true. Not true. And um, if you're... Of course, if you've started a plumbing business, and we, we talk to plumbing business owners all the time, we have yet to meet one who has said or even um, um, acted like, I started this plumbing business so I can rip people off, so I can take advantage of them. Right. I'm going to go in their house, and I'm going to sell them every, things they don't need, all of that. 
We, we've talked to hundreds and hundreds. That's just not the mindset, right? It's just it just isn't. You're not thinking going in and ripping people off. So okay. yeah. But on the flip side of that, we carry with us. Well, I don't want to make them. I, I, I don't want to have. I need. I need just enough. Mm. Okay, I, I need just enough. And if you have more than enough, somehow that's unfair. Right. Okay, or someone's doing without. I mean, part of it's, I mean, there, there's a lot to this, and this way of thinking about this kind of stuff is so, it, it, it is what separates those who are successful and those who are not. What I, mean, I love when someone says, you know, to have just enough, right? Yeah. Well, this is the amount you need. Well, who determines that amount, right. for one, right? And normally, whoever's saying that, that's where they are. Right. Right. And so, you know, the, I, well, I don't, someone that may have a, you know, a three bedroom house in a neighborhood, a nice, modest, whatever. Well, you know, well, at least I'm not like, you know, the guy, you know, across town who has the big old house and blah, blah, blah. You know what? If you've got a three bedroom house um, in, in a neighborhood or whatever, you are richer than 99% of the people in this world. world. Right. So people from other places are looking at you as that you're rich. So it's it always cracks me up where it's what's the level that people say is enough, right? right? It's always their level. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, and the bottom line, you know, money is just a tool. Yes. It's not, so you know, true. we have to say, you know, money, you know, part is part of our conditioning. Money's the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. um, nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the love, love of, of money, money. Is, is the root of all evil. That is biblical. Right. People get that wrong all the time. All right. Ha having money um, helps and, and being rich. Our, our, mm -hmm. our society needs more rich people. Yes. We, we need more rich people because rich, rich people provide jobs. They, they pay the taxes. They get things done. There isn't okay. anyone poor, poor that owns a business that's giving, um, um, that's creating opportunity and jobs um, for their employees and then also buying products from their suppliers, all that. There's right. Poor people don't do that. Poor people don't do that. Right. Poor people don't do that. And people just getting by don't do that. Correct. Um, right. And also think about charities. Right? How did charities survive? And there's a million different charities. How do you think they survive? They survive from people giving money to them. They're they're Rich above people. and beyond, <laughs> right? Um, to support charities that they believe in. Doesn't matter what it is, you know, or giving to political candidates or whatever it might be. Um, that's done by people that have made money. That have money. Um, poor people aren't able to do that. Exactly. Correct. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, and so again, you know. Yeah, we've been conditioned to, to think a certain way, and I mm. see your, you know, a favorite book of ours. Ooh, yes, I saw, saw you brought Rich that dad, in the studio. Poor dad, yep. guys. Oh, let me see the big glare. There we go. If you have not read this book, as soon as this podcast is over, go to Amazon and download it. Either on Kindle, audiobooks, you can listen to it while you're in the truck. This book will change your life if you let it. It will change your complete mindset. Rich dad, poor dad, and I know you know that um, it talks about having that he had a certain dad, rich, um, the rich or the poor dad, which is Robert Kiyosaki, right? right? Certainly everybody knows Robert Kiyosaki, but he had a dad who thought poor, right? Right, right. he grew up in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. his, his, his father was an educator. And just like, I mean, just in the basic part of society, you know, you save your money, you, you get an education. Stay in trade, line. You get, you get you know, right, right, you get a, a job, you know, a stable job. Um, you trade your with time. With the insurance. With, yeah, with you trade your time for money. Mm -hmm. All right. You put money aside, 401k and all that. Mm -hmm. that that's poor man thinking. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is how we've been, this is how we've been conditioned to think. Right. And he all talks right? about that in the book. All right. But Where the, his rich dad, he had a, had a friend whose dad owned a, a couple big um, hotels mm -hmm. in, in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. All right. And other properties. And he started asking. So he calls him his rich dad. He started asking him, how did you do? How do you do this? How do you do that? And he worked for free for him too. Mm -hmm. you know, clean, I mean, when he's young, clean up cigarette butts and all that just to get the time to ask, you know, what, um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I finished my sentence. Mm -hmm. Clean up cigarette butts. That's one of the stories in, in the, in a parking lot mm -hmm. of one of the hotels or whatever, mm -hmm. to get the time to be able to talk. And so how, how did you, how'd you get wealthy? How'd you get rich? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, the rich teach their kids a different thing Correct. than what we we've, we've been taught. Yes. All right. The idea of debt. Yes. Good debt, mm -hmm. so you can leverage. Yes. All right, and create the you know, they actually can invent money. Right. You know, out of thin air. That's what that's what starts happening. And you know? if you if you grasp this and and it, and start to implement into your life, you're going to change how you speak to your children. Yep. Right. Don't yep. you don't you want your children to be bigger, better? Um, stronger, more successful, all the things than you are. Oh, if you're a good parent, of course you do, right? We've got to give them the tools. So if you implement this and start doing these types of things, you're going to speak to your children as the rich dad spoke to Robert Kiyosaki as opposed to the poor dad 
speaking to them and you'll change your children's lives. Yep. You'll change their lives. So there we go. Yes. Get the book. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's a All great, right. it's a great guys. It's, and it's an easy read and um, it'll make you, if you're listening to it, it's going to make you stop a number of times and really think about, okay, that resonates All with right. me and that really hit home with me. And there's lots of, there's lots of books and writers all about, you know, out about this kind of stuff, mm-hmm. but, but Robert Kiyosaki just did it. He's the one of the first yeah. and in this, this manner and just, it makes it fun explaining cause we can relate. I, I can relate to it. Even though I didn't grow up in Hawaii, you know, I grew up in a blue collar home sure. with that same kind of thinking mm-hmm. that's you trade your time for money and just get a safe job, get blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so I can relate to that. Right. And then him talking about, you know, this other, his buddy's father, who was a wealthy man, a right. rich man. Mm-hmm. You know, how did you create, you know, the wealth? Yes. All right. And the smart thing that he did, too, was um, he started asking questions from someone who's already been there. Right. right. So we can talk about that in a little bit. Exactly. But, mm-hmm. Automate your company's day-to-day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with Service Titan. Service Titan is the world's leading all-in-one field management software for home service businesses looking to improve efficiency and profitability. Just ask Potty Talk listeners who have made the move to Service Titan. Not only have they saved thousands by eliminating time spent on profit-sucking manual tasks, but they now have scalable processes in place to help grow their business for years to come. To check them out and to take advantage of special discounts for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash service titan. All right, so change your thinking. Change your stinking thinking. All right. <laughs> All right, next. Mm-hmm. Charge for profit. What? Okay. Uh, charge profit? for profit. You're just ripping people off now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got to make money. You got to make uh, extra money. Profit's mm-hmm. extra money. And mm-hmm. you, have, you build that in there. Okay. And there's no law on how much profit you can make. There is no law. There's no law. There's no right. There's no wrong. You can right. you own your own business. You can do whatever you want. Now, if you get, you know, totally crazy and you're starting to charge a thousand bucks an hour, hey, if somebody will pay you a thousand bucks an hour and you do an amazing yeah. work and give them the experience, that's great. Right. But there, there is no rule. So, because sometimes we see in like in our, our free um, plumbing business success Facebook group, yeah. um, we'll see people's, well, I can't charge that or I'm not going to, you know, charge like the big guy uh, company down the street or whatever. Do you know they're a big company? That means that people are actually paying paying them, right? <laughs> so they're fine with that because the big company more than likely is giving them a really good experience. They've got clean trucks, clean uniforms, trained technicians, providing a great service, providing options, all of that, um, getting the Mrs. Jones's day back. Yep. Um, so if, if it were if if it was the case that um, charging more is going to put you out of business, we'd have no big companies, we, plumbing companies. We just wouldn't. Right. Right. So again, it just cracks me up. Well, I can't, I can't charge. Well, it's, okay. There's it's others a, that are doing it. Well, it's a plumbing business, not a community service. Right. You know, so we, we that is a pet peeve of mine right. for sure. Yeah. Well, do you want to explain oh, why? Oh, sure. Pep, because uh, it, look out. <laughs> <laughs> your plumbing business is not a community service. It is not a community service. It is a business for profit. First and foremost, that's what business is or else it is a charity. Right. So first and foremost, you have a business that is meant to have a profit for the owners of the company, whether it's you know you and your wife or you've got shareholders, shareholders. Which you right. But from a you know, big business standpoint, there's shareholders. You have um, a, a responsibility to have a profit for your business. If you don't, it's a charity. So right. what makes me crazy is I hear, you know, others out there, you know, we're we got to serve your community and this is for the community and community. No. Yes, there's, of course, a, a thing that you do, but that is not the the main purpose of the business. Um, serving your community well means that you've got qualified trained technicians that um, do quality work and that show up with you know a nice truck and again gets your customers day back. That's that's serving the customer. That's serving the customer. But at the end of the day, you've got to make a profit or you're not a business. You need to charge for that. Correct. You know exactly right. Yeah. So stop with the whole. And this is all community, and we're here to serve the community. No, you're not. No, you're not. You, know, you, you provide a service to the community, but at a profit for you. Right. Oh, you know, and some crazy. part of that, well, then we think we're not being, being um, philanthropic. Phil- that's a, that's phil- the word I always have trouble saying. Phil- um, philanthropic? Philanthropic. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> all right. Being a th- philanthropist. Philan- I'm, being, I'm being a, you know. Philanthropist. Right. Philanthropist. That's it. Yes. Okay. I'm being a capitalist, you know, <laughs> capitalism. Yeah, you better be right. a capitalist. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Because that, that's, if you really want to help humanity, yes. that's what you, that's what you, you need to do. And I love, I, I saw something recently with Elon Musk 
You know, I've kind of, you know, gotten a little man crush on Elon Musk. <laughs> you know, really, he's, he's, he's liberal. He's, he's a classic liberal, Definitely. you know, but, but he's, he believes in, you know, uh, freedom of speech and those, ki- those kinds of things. And he's just a smart man. I mean, look, look all he's done. Okay, he is about, you know, I, you know, I'm, you know, you know, I'm not into global warming. I don't, you know, I'm not, I don't climate crap. I don't climate change. Right, yes, the climate long. change every day. Right, every day. right. Yeah, either <laughs> sunny or it's rainy or whatever. It's, yeah, climate change is every Stop day. Climate change. Um, but you know, and he's into that those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. But you know, he was asked, you know, why didn't he do? And he does philanthropic work. He mm-hmm. does give money. But he says it's more important that my companies. You know, he goes. Well, he used the example of um, Tesla. You know, which is he's changing. You know, he's looking for clean energy. It's a battery, you know, power driven company and mm-hmm. all, all that. And he's clean. so he's doing the effort. But it's more, you know, to be able to do those kinds of things and to help humanity. Mm-hmm. I need to make money. Right. So Tesla has to make money. Mm-hmm. SpaceX, <laughs> even though it's advancements and all, mm-hmm. need to need to make, to make money so so that we can do more research and do those kinds of things. Right. Because right? where does the money come from if if those don't make a profit? Where's the money come from to do? All of these things, right, and, and to create um, new new um, systems, new whatever it is, right, it has to come from people that have made a profit in their business. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. Elon Musk, mm-hmm. love that guy. Um, yeah, and also creating opportunities, right? Um, as, you, as we're talking about, um, charge for profit, right? So you're right. you're creating opportunities for um, for your employees, especially. Well, for one, you, um, but for your employees. Um, and then, because if you don't, if you don't have a good profit, it, how am I saying this? Um, your employees and the supply house shouldn't be the only ones making money. Right. How's that? Um, they, they should not be the only ones that are making money. You should also make a, make a profit, but your employees, so you can charge enough so your employees can have a good life. You don't want to pay them just the, the minimum amount possible. You want your employees to to be able to buy a house, to take care of their family, do the things that they want to do. Exactly. Right? Like mm-hmm. that's part of the concern. I can't can't get good guys. I can't get I don't need good guys. Well, why would anyone want to work for you? Mm-hmm. You pay the lowest. Mm-hmm. You got crappy equipment because you won't I mean because you won't invest charge, in right. right. Okay. Because you won't charge correctly. Right. So why right. why would anyone want to work for you? Right. All right. Mm-hmm. The customer is as we, we teach in the, the academy and in our training, you know, the customer pays for everything. Mm-hmm. Like in all other businesses. The customer pays for everything. Your customer pays for you to have your good people. Yes. Okay. So whatever it costs to hire good plumbers in your area, mm-hmm. all right, that's what you need to pay those guys. Right. And probably even a little more mm-hmm. to attract them to you, yep. to your side of the fence. Mm-hmm. All right. So you have to charge accordingly. So you got it right. Yes. And to have the, the trucks that are nice and stocked and to have the uniforms and the insurance that your employees are, are going to want to want want to have right right so you, like you've got to charge so like a truck well it's a new t- I, I can't afford a truck but i don't want a new truck payment i'm supposed <laughs> to pay as i go and uh, you know I, I can get this this you know older truck and i can do the body work myself <laughs> and i can clean it i can do all that's all crap it's we did that uh, right i mean it, it, right it doesn't get you get get the new truck mm-hmm. okay and who pays for it mrs. Your, jones. your customer mrs jones mm-hmm. right yes robert Kiyot, Kiyosaki yes. talked about this. this is the point of good debt that he learned from his rich father mm-hmm. That asset, that truck, makes you money. Right. Get that truck in Mrs. Jones's driveway, it makes you money. Right. Okay, that's mm-hmm. that's how to look at it. Correct. The, the other is devaluing you by just having a beater truck, okay, mm-hmm. that you've bondoed up and you've gotten mm-hmm. cleaned up and it'll do until you make make enough money right. or whatever. And then you're not charging what you should be charging, right. so how in the world are you ever going to get the truck that you, that you should have, right? Uh, it, so it, it all starts with... You know, charging correctly, right. which we do teach in the academy. As yes, a fact. exactly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're talking about it's your moral duty mm-hmm. to be rich. Mm-hmm. All right. And we'll be right back with that here. But I have something for you. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Hey, plumbing pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my million dollar plumber blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right, welcome back. All right, we're talking about it's your moral duty. It's your moral duty. It is. I know. And to be rich. I know there's kind of a little tongue-in-cheek there, mm-hmm. but it really is a moral thing to be rich. Yes. You know, you, you said it. 
that, uh, you know, poor people don't do anything for anybody. Mm. Okay. Well, they, how, no, I, and I want to well, certainly well, I mean, clarify. But no, no, right? poor, I mean, they're good. I'm not, not judging them as people, right. that they're bad people or mm-hmm. they can't do anything. But poor or dependent people don't feed the poor. Right. Don't um, create have, economies, create, create, create jobs. Com- right. Mm-hmm. Hospitals. We build hospitals. It, it helps p- people. And there's a, um, in fact, it's a drain on society. Mm-hmm. Governments love poor and dependent, dependent people because people. it gives gives power to the Correct. to the government. Right. Okay, and we mm-hmm. see that happening in America today. All right, mm-hmm. and so this thing of becoming more become dependent. Mm-hmm. They don't want you to be free, mm-hmm. you know, and be able to. They don't want you to be rich, because mm-hmm. rich then then you you have you freedom. Right, <laughs> you right. don't need them. You have power. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, yes. Yeah, so um, yeah. Well, I know earlier we were kind of skirted around, but wealthy does create a free society. Being yes. wealthy creates a free. Society. society. Mm. Period. All right. Look at any, um, that's, that's what's been so great about, about America. You know, we were, you know, we, we had, had a strong middle class. We were a wealthy, you know, compared to the rest of the world, a wealthy people. Absolutely. In fact, even at our founding, even, the, you know, at our founding, the, the colonists were the wealthy. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like they were poor and they were fighting against that. They just, you know, it was the representation thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. But, but it's, um, it's because we were in a wealthy people. We've created wealth. It wasn't given. We created wealth. Right. Okay. And that's what you're doing with your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. That's the opportunity. Yes. In fact, you know, as we, we talk about this in the, in the success Academy and the training, you know, it's, 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 you know, we get into service plumbing. It's the only place you can go from nothing mm-hmm. to really becoming, you know, multimillionaire. Yes. All right. And becoming, yes, becoming so rich and it's, creating wealth. Yes, it's so right. true. And we've seen it time and time and time and time and time again. Okay. Um, it, and, you know, earlier we talked about another episode, we talked about mindset, you know, having the, the mindset that that's who you are. Um, not, not a plumber, plumbing business CEO. Right. Right. And so if you don't have, and, you know, look, you, you've been trained as a plumber, you know, plumbing, but you don't know business. You don't know how to make money. You, you haven't, there's nothing, I know, t- just talking, with, I didn't know if, I, if I'm talking, if I got a plumber, blue collar guy or gal listening, listening to me, we've had a similar upbringing. In no way, shape, or form have you been taught about money right. and about how to make money and become rich. Correct. In no way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. So you need to learn how to make money. Mm-hmm. Your plumbing business has very little to do with plumbing. It's about <laughs> what, for your, whether you're going to be successful or not. Mm-hmm. Okay, I expect you to, do, if you start a plumbing, ex, plumbing business, I expect you to know plumbing. Yeah, right. All right, the customer Hello. expects you to do the plumbing well, mm-hmm. okay? It's the other stuff. It's the business side on what makes the money. Right. And you got to learn that, okay? And if you got to learn that from someone. I, you know, the first, first couple years of our business, first three, four years, mm-hmm. I mean, we, we struggled. I mean, we, we, we talk about these things. That maybe, you know, a lot of experience, you know, where you're, you know, yeah, you ha- when we had clients, we had customers, mm-hmm. all right, that loved us. Mm-hmm. You know, they always call and they would call for me, you know, and I'm so proud of that. Okay. But we were living literally job to job. You know, I had, I had the building jobs, you know, new construction, you know, I had, I had all the houses, you know, yeah, the builder I, gave you all his houses yeah. that he never paid us yeah, for. Paid, right. <laughs> <laughs> or we play the games, uh, right. Mm-hmm. All that kind of stuff. But we, and, and we, we lived, you know, decent. I mean, mm-hmm. we lived the, the American lifestyle. All mm-hmm. right. You know, we go to but movies. It was, but it was two, always, you know, one two, step, one step forward, two steps back yeah. mm-hmm. you know. and, until we learn these things in rich dad, poor dad book. Right. Certainly one that, that helped along that way right. as well. Well, yes. one, one of the things I did was it finally <clears throat> hit me that I didn't know something. You know, I knew plumbing. I could take, sir, I was doing good with sir. I got a business here, but why? Why, why, are, why is there more month at the end of my money? Yes, <laughs> that's a great way of putting it. It was that way literally for, you know, some years. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Until I said, well, I need to get, I need to learn something here. I don't know something. So I got with a CEO group. Yes. That was, remember that? That was a stretch. Yeah, it was, that a, was, it was called Vistage. Right. Um, and that was a stretch financially for us. But we just knew, okay, we are not doing something right. Something is not is not working. Right. Um, and so, yeah, you got with the, the Vistage group, and there was no other plumbing business owners in that group. It was, you know, different oh, but CEOs. And there were CEOs, and they were probably bigger type companies. I mean, it was, oh, I, I, I was, the, I was right, they were way bigger <laughs> and stronger. You know, just mm-hmm. I was the little guy in the room, mm-hmm. which is you want to be. See, that's, that's the thing. When it's got, our egos get in the way. Well, I know. I know. It's, I don't want to feel like an idiot. They're talking down to me or whatever. No, they're not. All right? Get, get over ourselves, okay? Um, so you got to put yourself in that. 
Well, I did that. I'm starting. I remember them talking about stuff. I had no idea what the heck they were talking about. But I'm sitting there smiling, you know, drinking the free coffee. Or not free, because we pay for it. You know, and the little money. for everything. (laughs) Exactly. You know, and so, but I, you know, you just, just hung in there. And that's where I met, that's where I met Mitch. Mitch. Mitch Katz. Mitch Katz. I don't know if we should have said his last name or not, but it's probably oh, a lot of Mitch. I can't imagine that he's still around because that was 25 he was, years ago. Yeah. He was already. Yeah, he was older. He, he was, older. He was CFO mm-hmm. for, um, chief financial officer for um, Mayflower Trucking. Mm-hmm. Remember Mayflower Trucking? Mm-hmm. You know, pretty big. I, I don't know if I see him anymore or whatever. I can't recall. They've been bought out or something. But know. but a big, you know, trucking company. He was, he was a CFO. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, he, he was this old older G- East Coast Jewish guy. You know, so that's, you know, personalities, nothing wrong. Hey, we're all different kinds of people. Okay. At that, at that time I was a young, you know, redneck Hoosier. <laughs> yeah, how old were you then? Yeah. Um, early thir- mid thirties, 30, early. So we're not that young. Yeah. We, now old. we think it's young. Yeah. <laughs> but early thirties, I think. But I, I begged him to teach me, teach me business mm-hmm. and he would, you know, just, he didn't have the time. I mean, he didn't, he didn't need, you know, and I said, I'd pay you. Mm-hmm. I remember that's why, you know, mm-hmm. I pay, you know, he didn't need my money. He was, he was rich. Mm-hmm. All right. But it, <laughs> finally he gave in, you know, and, uh, I think you just wore him down. Yeah. I swore him. <laughs> and he, that's where I learned. That's where I learned business. Mm-hmm. You really know? walking through all the things and it opened things up and it's right. like, ah, oh, this one. Okay. That's what I, mm-hmm. that's why we're not making any money. Right. And even the things to, to this day on how, you know, the idea that we're selling time, right. that's where I learned that concept. Mm-hmm. For Mitch, we're not we're not selling what it is that we're doing. We're selling time, right? And so, how much time total. do you have, and what's all invested in that time? That you would know? have helped us in our previous business that we had. Yeah, that would. Have. <laughs> <laughs> we well, all this stuff, about that. and you know? it wasn't a plumbing business, by right. the way. But anyway, but it's but it's learn, <laughs> learning those kinds of things, okay? Mm-hmm. And so, even even if you don't, you know, even if you think you know, see, I, I, I know the guys that, that we do really well with like that, that we know clients. that with clients mm-hmm. that we can take from where they're struggling to multi millions to where they're living the life of their dreams and rich mm-hmm. when they say, um, you know, I don't know something mm-hmm. or I, I don't, I don't have something and or, I'm or, or I'm desperate. Or I'm open. Mm-hmm. Okay. The guys that we're talking to kind of know if you're kind of know it all, know it all. Move I know, I know what to do with that. Move I, on. I, there's nothing that can do, no. do for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, but real winners, mm-hmm. you know, real, um, you know, um, um, I'm looking at what, what's the, what's the, uh, hall of famers, Yeah. Right? you know, real hall of famers, mm-hmm. the real, the winners of the winners. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are always learning. Right. You know, one of my, my favorite, uh, um, athletes was Michael Jordan. That's oh, going to date me a little bit. It's your favorite story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was cause it's cool. First of all, I just mm-hmm. you know, first of all, he was the best, but you know, he had setbacks or whatever he worked for. It wasn't, you know, of course we're all born, born with abilities or whatever, but he worked for it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so he became, you know, you know, his heirness, mm-hmm. you know, and um, what ended up with what seven championships? Mm-hmm. Okay, I forget. I mean, it's, 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 it's crazy, you know, among an elite, you know, and to be able to be at that lead. Mm-hmm. Well, even after he won three, mm-hmm. three championships, he was still wanting to learn mm-hmm. and still pushing. Mm-hmm. And so what what he did? He was an all star. He right. was definitely all star. Right. He was already, you right. know, his heirness mm-hmm. and Air Jordan. Right. All I mean, already he was already there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it was, it was great from outside, but it was, he had to learn. He goes, I want to learn more, better how to you know, play and get, you know, play as a big man inside because mm-hmm. it change up his game a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right. So he can go to the next level. Mm-hmm. All right. So he, you know, he got a coach. Mm-hmm. Well, here's a guy who could probably coach the coach <laughs> <laughs> and coach everybody. In fact, everybody should be sitting at his knee, you know, mm-hmm. at his feet, listening to what he has to say. <laughs> but he went and got a coach that would teach him what he feel he wasn't strong at or didn't know right. something maybe he just didn't, you know, know the right, whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. And work with him. And then what, you know, what, However what many more. Yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Four more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's important to put yourself in a position to learn from somebody. Absolutely. There's okay. a side note. If you haven't seen the movie air, it's out on prime or Netflix. I don't remember, oh, yeah. but it's a story of Nike and air Jordans, right? Great business story. Great, yeah. great business story. Um, but it's uh, around Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, um, the, the actor, has, um, I think, two words in the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> Michael Jordan's on it. It's he the has, business story. He's not of, focused on him. And you right. see him, they'll show the back of him. Or mm-hmm. 
and, and talking but it's with a story, family. It's a story you really don't know, right, right, about Nike and how Air Jordans came to be. Man, it, talk about risk-taking on business, right? right. I, we just love those kind of movies where it, it shows, it, it takes someone to have an idea and then to go full full blast with it, right? Again, with your, with your plumbing business, what idea do you have that you want your plumbing business to be? You know, creating that wealth. What do you want to create it for? What, what are some of the things that you want to do um, for your family, for your community? Maybe there's um, a woman's shelter or something that you want to support or, um, you know, some, um, um, what do you call it, one of those clinics that um, help keep women from getting abortions. Maybe there's, or your church, whatever it is. Um, you need money to be able to do those things. Um, support maybe elderly parents. You know, your parents get a little bit older. Yes. Maybe they haven't been able to save or, you know, put have money for retirement or care for themselves. Then what a joy would that be for you to be able to do that for your parents? Well, you need money to do that. Right. So start charging correctly. If you're not charging correctly, you really are hurting your family. You, you just are. You're hurting your family. Right. And I can I can tell you stories. Um family members where it had their own business and they, I'm not going to charge. I'm just, I'm not going to oh, rip I know, people I know what off. I know what you're talking about. I'm not going to rip people off. Well, um, well then his wife lived in squalor. His, his family yeah. lived in squalor. Near squalor. Near squalor. Right. Because he refused to charge what he needed to charge just at a minimum to take care of his family. But it made him feel good that these, these customers would call him and, oh, sure. Well, I can come out. I'll just charge you a hundred bucks and pay me when you can or whatever. What the hell? Sorry. I just right. cussed, but well, you have a, your responsibility is to your family first, not to the community at large. So, right. All right. Sorry. That, oh, I think that was the first time I cursed on Potty yeah, Talk. I, I think so. <gasps> Boy, and you're not a. Oh, admonish me. Well, I know you. That must have been emotional there because I yeah, know you don't. Yeah, because it makes me crazy. It, right. And it's this idea, again, that, you know, that somehow rich is bad. Being right. rich. That not being rich is bad. Yes. <laughs> if you get anything. Not being rich is bad. Right. That's why I say it's your moral duty to be rich. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not rich, you're dependent right. on, right. Or, or at, 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 and, and that, at a minimum, it, your, your family, you're right. not taking care of your family. Right. So mm, All right. that is a hot topic. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> but get, coach, get coached up. Get coached up, hey, yes. Uh, and on that, mm -hmm. I'm yes. uh, going to uh, maybe, you know, kind of a self- a selfish plug here. It's not at all because we help us help you. you. That's right. what it is, right? Because we were there. We were totally there. Um, we, we were in the, that position, and then you ended up, you know, getting help from Mitch and all that. So we get it. So th I'm, that's why we do Million Dollar Plumber. That's why right. we have Potty Top is to help um, people who have a plumbing business, typically husband and wife team, um, avoid some of the mistakes that we made. One of our, our mentors who we love dearly, Rory Vaden, mm -hmm. um, he's got a great podcast on business out there, Rory Vaden, V-A-D-E-N. Um, he, one of his sayings is, you are most powerfully positioned to serve the person you once were, right? You're most powerfully positioned to serve the person you once were. And that, this, that was us, right? So the right. people that we're serving now is who we were, um, you know, 20 some years ago, right? Struggling, clueless, all of that. Um, and we want to help you to avoid all the pitfalls and all the mistakes and all the wasted money, um, all the things that we did. So. And ultimately, our answer to that is the, what we call the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's where um, we, we have um, all the training and the, mm -hmm. the coaching and the community there mm -hmm. where it teaches you what you need to know to be able to be rich, yes. okay, to create wealth mm -hmm. with this plumbing business asset. Correct. All right, and what... Mm -hmm. And we've seen now hundreds of students go through. Mm -hmm. And within the first year, there are on average have increased their sales by 300%. Yep. Okay, that's just, mm -hmm. that's just the average. Mm -hmm. But we, we have many that have gone on to multi-million, going from a ch chuck in a truck mm -hmm. to a multi-million dollar plumbing company. Uh, we've got one right. right now that has started him and a helper, yeah. right? Started with us three-ish three years ago. And he now brings in with his residential plumbing business one million dollars a, a month. month a month and that's because he did everything we told him to do right did all the things in the academy you know so and that guys, one million dollars a month and this is you know not some big town or city that's got all the whatever and you know he had some sort of um you know rich uncle that was paying his way or huh. any of those things right it was hard work for you know those couple of years him and his wife they buckled down and they did all the things but now it's paying off one million dollars a, a month. month if we would have said that to him when he started 
Um, he would he, he would have laughed us right off. And him. wouldn't have gone with no right mm-hmm. because, because it's, it's hard song. to imagine. Right. But it is possible. It's it's totally possible. And I know you're going to get ready to to say how so we can hook somebody up. But one thing I want to say too about being rich um, is your moral obligation to be rich. Also, um, you can enjoy life. And that's okay. That's okay. Right? Yes, we talked about <laughs> Great you know, point. Is support, you know, your churches and your and the um, community um, um, charities that you belo- believe in and, and all those things. Absolutely. Pay your, your employees really, really well. Um, don't nickel and dime the, the local supply house for every little flapper or whatever, right? right. All of that. But um, profit can also give you a nice life, whatever that looks like, um, to where you're not struggling. Um, heck, take a vacation. Wouldn't that be crazy? Take, oh, I don't know, maybe a couple. A couple of vacations with you and your family. Um, or just you and your wife going somewhere. When's the last time you and your wife went anywhere? Um, just for three or four days away. Or took your kids somewhere for a you know, week-long vacation. It's okay to have profit so that you can do those things, so that you can enjoy life. Life is not all about having a plumbing business and 24-7 and work, 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 and rah, 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 all the things. That's not what life is. Yes, the plumbing business is a vehicle to those things, and you need to do things right. But do some things that you, you might enjoy. You know, again, vacation, or, you know, maybe your wife wants to go out and have a little bit of a shopping spree and get some new clothes or whatever it is. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. So. That's what I love. You know, nuggets of gold there, sweetheart. I, it's just, that's what that... That's what meant being becoming rich meant, meant to me, mm. is what you just mentioned that, and I'm I'm so blessed. You know, I'm I'm not married to a high maintenance woman. <laughs> the lovely Laura is not high maintenance, um, and she doesn't ask for a lot. But when we finally got to the point where you could be, if you wanted that outfit, you happen to see, and you're not a big shop, you don't you don't no. go out shopping just to go shopping. But if you see something, we got to the point where you could just get it mm. and not even look at the price tag. I just, just, you know, got it. And that was a big change for me because I grew up, you know, two factory. Right. Same. Um, parents, right, working in a factory their whole lives and living pay, barely paycheck and to paycheck. And mine the same. You know, when I could buy the, I'm not big in the, in the clothes and all, but I do have, you know, if you know I, I like a certain style of shirt and mm-hmm. jeans. Mm-hmm. And, watches. And, wa- and I like my, my watches, <laughs> you know, whatever, and, and my Converse. <laughs> but those aren't, but, but to be able to just buy more than what I need. Mm-hmm. And the, and the style and the quality that I like, right? it's mm-hmm. just, it just ma- it makes life pleasant. And there's right. nothing wrong with that. So and, whatever your thing may be. You and know? our identity is not wrapped up in that. It's no. like, oh, we're living just so that we can buy Converse or a nice watch. Of course not. If that's the case, then you, you, you need to change your yeah, perspective a bit. It's just, there are some things that just to enjoy life. Guys, again, when's the last time you, you kind of enjoyed some time? Right, enjoyed some time away or enjoyed doing something. If you've got a plumbing business, guys, set some time aside and and take your wife. If you're married, take your wife and go somewhere. One place, okay, this, well, yeah. yeah. We do have the MDP retreat coming up in November, and I'm not sure when this is going to air. We may have few, a few spots um, available. So if you're interested, um, gosh, what do we do? Um, if you're interested, type retreat in the comments, and, and we can reach out to you. But anyway, we do those, and we do we do to a year, we do those to force you to set some time aside to go somewhere away and and just enjoy um, the fruits of your labor, right? So we always go someplace that's um, tropical and sunny and sand and the ocean and and all the things, right? Because you you just, and also all inclusive, right? All inclusive. And we'll have, we have a couple mornings where we'll have speakers and Mm -hmm. we speak or whatever, but it's not on plumbing. It's more in life, lifestyle and life topics and Mm -hmm personal, you know, the relationship kind of stuff right. and building wealth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, those kinds of things, mm-hmm. but then we free you up. And again, the point of it is to enjoy life. Yes. Okay. Not just to be focusing on, on the work and on, mm-hmm. you know, and that's what being rich can provide you. And that's mm-hmm. what rich, rich meant to me or means mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you notice, I don't, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I like cool cars, mm-hmm. but I'm not into, I don't, no. you know, I, I don't have the big old because we have, just because I have the money doesn't mean mm-hmm. to do it. I, I like my Jeep, which is kind of silly. <laughs> well, I had a guy ask me at the gym cool. today about well, at the Jeep. Oh, yeah. is that your yellow your Jeep out there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, so I I mean, I, it's cool. <laughs> I think it's cool, but in the scheme of you know, it's, this young. right, right. That's exactly <laughs> right. For, that's what I want. Mm-hmm. But what when I started feeling more like I was rich, it's not that the money in the bank account or that, you know that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. It's the stability, the lifestyle that we could take off and go go on a trip. Correct. We could just go. We could just go. Just go. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And then we, we um, in the beginning, we would go to, you know, somewhere, say, for two or three days, and we'd stay at a Hampton Inn or something somewhere a little bit more modest. But then we started to stretch ourselves and then make reservations for some nice places, right? You know, stay at a, a higher end um, hotel and go to a nice restaurant where they really do wait on you um, with quality service. Um, and so you, you put yourself in those situations and, and that mindset, it then drives you to continue to build your plumbing business and, and do the things so you can get rich. Right. Again, rich meaning for you for your family first and foremost and then other areas that you want to support or invest in. So, right. mm-hmm. Wow. So, okay. So learn how to become <laughs> rich. And we mentioned the Success Academy. Yes. And look, uh, you know, the Success Academy has everything in there for you to mm-hmm. do just that and the things we just said. Um, you know, I did talk about, you know, I can't guarantee the success because that all depends on you, yeah, <laughs> you know, do it. what you're what you're willing to do or not not to do, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but again, we've seen a lot of success and it's not because it's genius. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to make, well, it's, <laughs> it's I've taken, I mean, I've been in this game for over 30 years. Mm-hmm. And so I've already, I've made all the mistakes. <laughs> I've wasted the time and money. You don't have to. All right. So th- this is a shortcut to your success if you, if you do these things. OK, um, but let's have a conversation. You know, I want to ske- have you schedule a call. Yes, yeah, schedule a call. Uh, you can go yeah. to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash call C.A.L.L. and schedule a time with a strategic advisor. Talk about your business to see what what it is you're looking to do. Um, and then he, he can certainly you know, give you advice at that point and then you know, let you know about the success. Right. Academy. There won't be any pressure. Right. right. There's no, there's no pressure. No. I made it, made it that we don't need to do, do this. Um, we do charge. There is a, there is a price for it. Correct. People ask, well, I, you know, why charge. don't you just give this away for free? Well, we did. We did. In the beginning. <laughs> and no one did anything with it. <laughs> Nobody there, did that, anything. There is, there, there is that thing. <laughs> That's there. It's, there's value in that, right. that exchange. If you're paying money, then you're going to be paying a little bit more attention to the process itself. In fact, you know, um, I paid Mitch a lot of money mm-hmm. for yeah, his he time. didn't just charge like a dinky little amount. No, it was a couple, <laughs> couple few thousand dollars a month. Uh-huh. All right, for the hour session. Mm-hmm. All right, and to be able to talk, you know, occasionally mm-hmm. as well. And I was smart, but on but part. I was doing because I but because I was paying that, mm-hmm. I did everything he told me to do. Absolutely, I'm and I waste took this money. Right, this is what I'm paying for this. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's value in that. So yes, there there is a charge. And, but we have different levels based on your, um, you your know, needs, your need. what your goals are, yeah, all where, that. you know, where, you know, how serious you are or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, there's a chance to get in, you know, at a, at a lower level, mm-hmm. but if you're looking for all the care, you know, one-on-one coaching, all that, we it's that all, as well. you know, mm-hmm. so it's all there. So, mm-hmm. but schedule the call first. Okay. Just to see, um, the bottom line, we'd like to get to meet you and, and find out what, you know, what is your issue? And, it, you know, at a minimum, we'll point you in the right direction. Definitely. So okay. themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call. Go there. Schedule your call. All right. All right. It's your moral duty to be rich. Great episode, babe. Right. Okay. Be rich. Mm-hmm. Okay. But also, before we let you go, this was a little bit long. We spent. I know. <laughs> I know. I see the clock over here. All right. <laughs> but, but this is good. But this is a good thing. All right. It is your moral duty to be rich. Okay. But as we're closing up here, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. You were created to do great things to plumb like a champion. Right.